Ooh, I think that looks good. Good morning, everybody. So I wanted to show you my morning routine. Um, you're always asking what am I putting on my skin and I'm, I'm particular about my products, but not really how I go, you know, how I apply it. But let me show you my right now routine, okay? So some of the face washes that I use, this is by Forest Essentials, Delicate Facial Cleanser with Kashmiri Saffron and Neem. I like that. It's light and it, it really removes all your dirt and makeup. And of course, um, sometimes I use the Chanel Mousse one. And then this one, um, Bioderma, it's kind of like, a, it, it has granules in it. So if I have heavy makeup and after I remove it, it's like a scrub. So it depends on what you're feeling that day it's always nice to have different ones because your skin is not the same every day you know all right now let's get to it now my face is clean like washed face and i have dry skin here and a little bit of oily here so it depends um so i just always after washing my face the simple routine that you can do is CTM, which is cleanse, tone, moisturize. This should be your mantra. What you add in between after, it can get overwhelming, but for us, we don't need to. So this is a toner. And just put it all over your skin so you tone your skin. So because, you know, to make sure you have even skin tone so there are no dark spots anywhere, you know, or pigmentation, always lift, lift, lift 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 and neck never miss your neck because that's the first place where you see uh, signs of aging so always whatever you goes on your face has to go on your neck okay and your decolletage right here all right see after a clean face i mean you can still feel a little bit okay this is a product that a friend of mine recommended and it has like, you know, when you talk about Korean skin, the 10 step process, this particular one is supposed to cut you through to three steps because it has all these amazing ingredients in it, including retinol. So I use this once a day just so my skin, um, it exfoliates, keeps it proper. So I take that much and just... I don't rub or anything, just apply it. And leave it on. Usually what I do after I put my U Beauty, then I moisturize my body because I like to let it, leave it on for a minute because whatever you, oops, whatever you put after this uh, really sits on your skin. So this is an oil that I really like. Um, it's like nutrition for your skin, you know, when you get that glowy skin. And you can find there are tons of different oils. There are many Indian uh, oils and ingredients that you can use. Best is almond oil. And if you can add a little bit of, if it's the winters, you can even put almond oil and castor oil. These oils are great for your skin. No, unless it's, um, unless you have too much acne and you're breaking out then don't use oils you need to wash your face three to four times a day and then cleanse and moisturize always moisturize even if you have dry or oily or pimply skin moisturizing is a must okay so here And now is when, if I'm shooting, is when I use my, I have quite a few of these. I like this one because it really contours your face and it rolls on with both sides, removes all your puffiness, you know. So just five, five strokes around this way that way. I really see a big difference when I do it. Do you see that? Do you see any difference? Like the blood's pumped in, your cheekbones are high up. This is by Madonna and because it was Madonna's, that was one reason that I just wanted to buy it, MD Skin. Because I love Madonna. Or 
you have even these so many energizing bars that come with different heads like i have this is tiger eye i have another one with pink quartz so just you can do this while you're watching tv while you're drinking your coffee in the morning just put some coconut oil and do this before you even shower you can use this anytime during the day i just like to keep a routine at it so i'm not all over the place with all right, and then comes the moisturizer. You find one that's good for you. I like thick moisturizing, so I take that much. And there are quite a few sunscreens that you can use, but always make sure they are 50 plus plus. Um, I use the one by Kiehl's or this is my all-time favorite right now that I swear by. So you'll see why, okay? Usually when you put sunscreen, it's white. Like it has this white film. But here. And again, I love putting some sunscreen. Do you see that? It just blends into your skin there is no white film on this so this way you can t put this in your bag which i always have so every time you feel a little dry you can just apply this throughout the day sometimes um another i'll tell you in my next video what is a little trick that i do to do like a day look all right i hope uh, this helped you but ultimately, you have to cleanse, tone, and moisturize. And never forget your sunscreen. And it has to be at least 50 plus plus.